Hi everyone, welcome to Jira How to Video series where we answer the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Jexo and today we will have a look on how you can create component in Jira. To create a component in Jira, you need to make sure that you are in a company managed project. And the way you can see it is when you are having a look at your projects in this project tab over here, you can see the type of the project company managed. So when you access your company managed project, you can uh, find the components tab over here on which you can click and then you can create your component. You need to give your component a name. So for example, button. You can give it the description, but that's not mandatory. You can also assign a component lead or you can also assign a default assignee. Now the default assignee option is quite useful if you want your issues to be automatically assigned after creation to someone. So there are either options to assign the issue to the project lead or to the project def default, which you can both find in the project settings. And there's also a component lead option, uh, which is quite useful if you want to have different default assignees for different components in your project. So for example, if you have a front-end lead and back-end lead developer, then the front-end related components are going to be assigned to the front-end lead and the back-end one to the back-end lead. And when you click on save, you created your first component and you can see it in the table over here. Now, you need to make sure that you are a project admin or a Jira admin in order to create these components. So you need to have a special permission in order to be able to create a component. And after your component is created, you can then go and assign this component to the issues. So if you go to your issue view, you can find the components field over here. And from here, you can select uh, the component that you just created and assign. The reason why this is useful is that you can then query your issues based on the components and you can create the reports based on these. And if you are looking for a way to create a cross project components in Jira uh, to be able to use one component across multiple projects, you can have a look at our app Octo uh, that allows you to do exactly that. There are also options to create a component hierarchies like this or a component releases. To learn more about Octo, you can watch our other video. And that's about it for this how-to. I hope that you learn how you can create a component in Jira. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the next one.